Daniel with the Assessment Toolbox here. We're talking about fractions. Specifically, how do you add fractions with different denominators? Why do we even need different denominators? It would be a lot easier if we could just add the numbers that we see in the top row and move on with it already. But what's the problem with that? Well, the numbers on the top and the numbers on the bottom are telling us things that we need to pay attention to. Let's say I've got the fraction one half added to two fifths. Well, I could just grab one of these and two of these and stick them together and let's see how we do. Does that give me the correct answer? Probably not. When working with fractions, it's always important to know what one whole equals. With my fraction bars here, I have this orange bar equaling one whole. I can measure everything else off of that to see what one whole is. Let's take these yellow ones for instance. How many yellow bars does it take to equal one whole, or the same length as the orange bar? It's going to be two. Two yellow bars is the same length as one whole. That's where we get the bottom number of our fraction, two. So one half, or one over two, is one of the parts when two equal a whole. Let's try it with another one. How about these red ones? How many of these red ones do you think would take to equal one whole? Or the same length as the orange bar here? There's the first one. So there we have it. It takes five of these small bars to equal one whole. So this fraction is one piece of five that equal one whole. This is one of five. And now two of them would be like this. Two of the five that it takes to equal one whole. And that is why we just can't grab any size pieces when we have one half plus two fifths. We need to know what size we're comparing to so that we get the correct answer. So, all right, I wanted to find out what one half plus two fifths equals out to be. Well, we found out the yellow bars are halves. Two of them equals one whole. So I'm gonna take one of these bars right here and I'll set it up on my measuring stick right down here. And I'm gonna take two of these, which we found out to be fifths. It takes five to equal one whole. I'm gonna take two of those and I'll stick those down here. All right, how much does that equal? We have one half plus two fifths, and it's almost one whole. We could say it's almost one whole, but that's not very exact. How far does it go exactly? Well, this is why we often have to change our denominators when we're adding fractions. If we simply add one half to two fifths, we don't know the exact answer here. And that's why I've got these white cubes here. Can you figure out why exactly? Here's a great place to start. How many of these white cubes equal one whole? I'll give you a moment to count them. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten of the white cubes equal one whole. We can use that to compare because this bar right here ends at the same spot as this bar right here. And we did figure out exactly how far this one is. It is almost all the way to one whole. It is all but one of 10. So it's one less than 10. What would this part be right here? It would be nine tenths. If we counted these up again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's nine of 10 to reach the whole. And so we find out one half plus two fifths equals nine tenths. Well, 9 and 10 aren't even in that original equation. How do we get that? Well, I want to show you now with the numbers what it looks like written out so that we can compare and find out exactly what 1 half plus 2 fifths is every time with accuracy. Great job, everybody. I wanted to take some time to really look at why we have to find the same denominator and it's okay if it doesn't even make sense yet. So this is the beginning stage and I wanted to take some time and show it visually and I think this will really help as you begin solving problems like this. So in the next video you can see mathematically with the numbers shown just how to solve this kind of problem. You'll do great. Onward!